The full criminalization of sex work is what we have in South Africa. This is where buying sex, selling sex and all related activities such as brothel keeping, living off the proceeds of sex work are all criminal offenses. Because sex workers and clients are treated as criminals, they have very little access to any kind of services. Justice services, health services, sex workers can't report violence against them. Or, in the case of South Africa, the majority of the violence that is perpetrated against sex workers are actually by the police. more commonly known as the Swedish model. This is where clients, so people who buy sex, are criminalized, but not sex workers. It's like saying you're allowed to sell tomatoes, but no one is allowed to buy tomatoes. So when it comes to kind of the practical implementation of this law, you find that sex workers will protect their income. Negotiations happen very rushed. Clients want to go into very far away places, dark places, places that are kind of out of reach for safety and security for sex workers. So this is where the selling and buying of sex and brothel keeping is legal. The problem that we've experienced with this, with talking to a lot of sex workers who work in legalized environments, is that sex work is treated as a special thing, not like any other work. So there's a lot of bureaucracy, there's a lot of policing that goes on. That's decriminalizing the buying and selling of adult consensual sex. But we're not saying it's unregulated. What we're saying is it's regulated under our current labor law. Sex work should be acknowledged as work and treated as such. So the same responsibilities that any worker in South Africa has applies to sex workers, but also that it's no longer a criminal offense.